um, just a real quick basic drawing to show you how we have, and I've made a video of it actually in practice, but somebody was asking how can you set up a booster and proportioner system to prime when you don't have pressure from the house. Um, so kind of work back from square one. So you've got your booster, this goes to your proportioner, this is your priming side. So as you're priming this side, you're flipping back and forth right here on this three-way. Right here is your three-way ball valve to decide which source you're going to prime from. If you've got pressure on the coming from the house, you got your garden hose hooked up. That's going to work. Prime it. Go. Um, otherwise, what you do is you just switch it to a valve from your buffer tank. Obviously, you need enough water so that the level of this is above the really above that valve um, and that'll prime just fine or whatever the top of this is um, in this picture obviously the valves up top I actually have mine so the valve is below it but um, so you got your buffer tank the other thing that I like to do with this is that we've got this valve here and then on here we've got a just a, um, a single ball valve so if I really need to prime it right then I could shut this line off so we'll just, um, whatever, draw a line. So that's just a single way ball valve. So I can shut this off so I'm not feeding my buffer tank if I need extra force to prime it. Um, but I can open that up and be able to run the buffer. Um, or sorry, run, run my boost or whatever. Um, so again, this will work if you don't have hose pressure. So if this is off, and let's just say your buffer tank is full with 300 gallons of water or 200 gallons of water, that's going to be enough to prime this. All you need to do is you're really just trying to get water in, get the air out, and then you're good to go. And then that goes to spraying. So hope that helps.